Hello students, once again welcome to Bhulanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see what are the poly highlights, how they are classified and its structure, preparation and properties. Okay students, in examinations they are asking students these type of questions which are very important. How you are going to write students, what are poly highlights, the properties of the halogens, the properties of the halogens to form their inter halogen compounds or ions which contains more than two are same are different halogen atoms are called polyhalides. So these are the students very important definitions of polyhalides. What are the polyhalides? So the properties of the halogens to form interhalogen compounds are ions which contains more than two same or different halogen atoms are called as what polyhalides. It may be anions, cations or neutron molecules. Okay students poly polyhalides may be anions, cations or neutron molecules. Now how they are classified students? Ionic species like ICl2 minus bromine tetrafluoride minus iodine F4 minus iodine hexafluoride are the polyhalides ion. Understand students? This is iodine dichloride ion. This is bromine tetrafluoride ion. This is iodine tetrafluoride ion. This is what iodine hexafluoride ions are the polyhalides anions. All are what negative. All are having negative charge on the molecule. The classification of polyhalides students. How we are going to classify the polyhalide? It consists of less. Now students, when you see the structure of polyhalides it consists of less electronegative halogen on central metal atom surrounded by more electronegative halogen atoms understanding students so will be at the center students there will be the less electronegative halogen atoms and it is surrounded by more electronegative halogen atoms that means here students you, you can see the example iodine will be what less electronegative than chlorine atom understanding both are halogens but students at the center of which atom will be present less electronegative halogen atom will be at the central we call it as a central metal atom and it is surrounded by more electronegative halogen atoms understanding students so when you see these are the central halogen atom will be bromine and here will central uh, metal atom will be iodine understanding in these two molecules so these are the this way you can classify we are going to classify the classification of polyhalides now generally see the general formula students here the ax and yn understand this is the central halogen atom this will be what having the more electronegative atom we are showing with y yeah. sometimes what happens this is the halogens which combines with the same halogen atom and it is forming this type of compound here x is called as odd number of halogens understanding students x is what odd number of halogens they are classified as students how we are now we are going to classify that is first classification is called as trihalide ions tri means what the ions is made up of three halogen atom x3 having the negative charge we call as trihalide ions why we call as ions because it is what negative so why we call as trihalide because it consists of three halogen atom so that is why it is called as trihalide ions x3 minus now when you see the example students first example students here i3 minus icl2 minus ibr2 minus i2cl minus i2br minus brcl2 minus brcl2 minus bri2 minus understand yes students it is repeated i have repeated so you can not write this okay now second type is students that is called as penta halides so we are talking about what odd number of halogen so here tri means three penta is also five means what it is also odd number so penta halide ions we call as what x5 minus so phi is what also coming in odd number phi is what odd number so it is second type of classification is called as penta halide ions example students iodine phi that is i5 minus i4cl minus i4br minus when you add students number of halogen total will be what phi I2 Br3 minus I Cl4 minus I F4 minus Br F4 minus. So they are called as what? Penta halide ions. Now coming down to the students, hepta halide, that means 7. 7 is what? Also a odd number. So X7 minus. It is also a type of classification that is called as pen hepta. Hepta means 7. Hepta halide ions. Say for example, students, iodine 7, that is I7 minus I6 Br minus I F6 minus Br6 Cl minus Br F6 minus. IEF6 minus. So these are the example students of hepta halide ions. Understanding students? So here students, iodine will be at the center and it is surrounded by what? Fluorine atom. Now students, one more type of uh, classification that is fourth type of classification polyhalides is odd polyhalide ions. Here students, we are showing with the XN where N is what? Odd number. So here more than 7 that is I9 minus I11 minus BR9. B9. Okay students, this is 9 minus now it means even polyhalides uh, poly ions, even number of polyhalides ions means here we are showing with x minus m where m is what even number say for example students iodine 4 4 is what even number so this that is why it is called as what even polyhalides poly ions 
I8 minus. So these are the example of even polyhalide ions. So odd polyhalide ions and even polyhalide ions we have seen. So five ways we have classified strings. Now we are going to see the structure of polyhalide strings. The first structure strings we are going to see I5 minus. Now strings, how you are going to write the structure I5 minus? Now I5 minus has L shaped structure strings. Here strings iodine molecules coordinated to iodine ion are two unsymmetrical triiodide ions to common iodine atom. So understanding strings, when you see strings, iodine iodine bond length will be 2.8 Armstrong. Here iodine iodine bond will be 3.17 Armstrong. Iodine iodine bond will be strings because it is L shaped structure. Okay, it is what? L shaped structure. So here the iodine iodine bond will be 3.17 Armstrong. Iodine iodine bond will be here 2.82 Armstrong. When you see the bond angle strings, iodine 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 bond angle is 95 degree. Understanding strings, that is why it is, we call it as what? It is L shaped structure. Now students, we are going to see the structure of I72 minus ion that is called as students hepta. 7 stands for what? Hepta iodide 2 minus ions. The structure of I72 minus ion that is called as hepta iodide. The discrete hepta diode ions are not found but are known in form of ammonium. See here students because 2 minus so we ammonium I7. Understanding? So this is called as what? A type of salt, ammonium salt of iodide. Understanding? So the discrete heptiodide ions are not found but are known in the form of ammonium heptiodide in finite 3D structure. Iodine molecules having the bond is 2.7 Armstrong and symmetrical triiodide ions having bond length 2.90 coordinated with very long bond that is 3.4 Armstrong like this. Understanding students? So when you see students, iodine iodine bond is 2.9 Armstrong. Here students, iodine iodine bond is also 2.5 Armstrong. Now, when it is coming down, students, you will find that iodine iodine bond is 3.4 Armstrong, and here you will find students, iodine iodine bond is 2.74 Armstrong, and iodine iodine bond at the terminal will be 3.44 Armstrong. And when you see the bond angle, students, iodine 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 bond angle is 85.5 degree. Understanding? Now we are going to see the structure, third structure that is structure of I9 minus ion. This ion can be linked as I7 minus ion plus I2 iodine are I5 minus plus 2 iodine molecule. Understanding students, it is you can form this ion I9 like this. Understanding students, so I7 minus ions combines with iodine I2, or you can say I5 minus ions plus 2 iodine, so it will form I9 minus ions. Now students, here it will be I9 minus can be assumed the structure is what infinite polymers. Understanding so total how many students iodine molecules? So 5 iodine here and 4 will be below. So total I. 9 minus can be assumed that the structure is what infinite polymer it is like a polymer understanding students so when you see here students iodine iodine bond length is 2.67 armstrong here iodine iodine bond length will be 3.43 armstrong here also students iodine iodine bond is 3.2 armstrong here iodine iodine bond will be 3.67 armstrong now when you comes down the branch students iodine iodine bond is not given here it is mostly similar to 3.24 armstrong here iodine iodine bond length is 2.90 armstrong iodine iodine bond length is 3.24 armstrong here iodine iodine bond will be 2.91 armstrong now when you see students here you will find bond angle iodine iodine bond angle is here 85 degree and this side students iodine iodine bond angle will be 89 degree and here students you will find iodine iodine bond angle is 87 so you have three types of bond angle 85 degree 89 degree and 87 degree understanding students so this way we can explain the structure of i9 minus ions understanding now students we are going to see the structure of i4 minus ion that is also called as tetra iodide because it's containing four iodine atoms, that is why it is called as tetra iodide ions, having one negative ions, negative charge. So I4 minus ions structure strings, that is tetra iodide. It is found in cesium tetra iodide, Cs I4, has dimeric form, that is I4 minus twice, or you can say I8 2 minus. That is why it is called as what dimeric form. It has Z shaped structure strings. When you see the structure of tetra iodide strings, it is what Z shaped structure. Very important strings. It can be found when two symmetrical triiodides, when two symmetrical triiodides are coordinated to the two ends of iodine molecules. When C strings bonds between one and two, and bond between seven and eight shorts with the bond length 2.85 Armstrong. Understanding students, one and two and seven and eight will have short bond that is 2.85 Armstrong. Okay, students, when you see the bond strings two and three and six and seven are long with bond length 3.0 Armstrong. The asymmetrical triiodide ions bond that is three. 4 and 5, 6 
connect the triiodide ions to the central iodine molecule these bonds are very long that is 3.42 armstrong understanding students so you, here you can say students iodine iodine bond is 2.8 armstrong here the second iodine and third iodine bond is 3.8 armstrong and iodine third iodine and fourth iodine bond length is 3.42 armstrong fourth and five armstrong iodine bond length is 2.83 fifth and sixth iodine bond is 3.42 armstrong and students here you will find six and seven iodine bond length is 3.0 armstrong and 7 and 8 iodine is 2.85 armstrong so these are the structure students which is very important structure for the examination point of view if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you